radioactive. Copyright strike. Today's video is sponsored by Dragon City. In today's video, we're going to see if it's possible to create eggs that glow under a black light. So we have a bunch of eggs, chicken eggs. Which are okay, but they are not nearly as great as dragon eggs like you can get in the game Dragon City. This game is full of colorful dragons that you can collect. I've actually been playing for years. Dragon City is free to play and available on Android and iOS. Now a big part of this game is actually collecting dragons. I've collected a little over 300, but I've got tons more to go. One way you can actually collect dragons is by breeding them, which will give you a ton of really cool and unique combinations. The dragons also generate gold, which you can use to get food to help your dragons get stronger. You can then use that to level up your dragons when you take them into battle. You can also train your dragons, which helps improve their attacks. Yeah, that one. Which you'll need if you want to play in different PvP modes. You can also fight in a league or an arena. A quick and easy way to find people to play with is through Facebook Connect, which will let you know which of your friends are already playing. There are even new events every single week, which will help you earn gold. And finally, you can get your dragons to do things on their own, like auto battle or go on quests to help you unlock new buildings. That will help you earn a great big bonus throughout the game. So to download and start collecting dragons today, go to the description and click the link below. Is that one yours? Yeah. Or are they all yours? That one's mine, but I have all of those. Okay, you have other ones of these same dragons? I have a lot you of dragons. Lot of, okay. They're very colorful. Thank you. We've had several people send us a video clip, or a few different video clips, You're I think, welcome. actually, that seemed to show taking regular chicken eggs, soaking them in a mixture of white vinegar and highlighter ink, and having the shell dissolve and having the eggs absorb some of the highlighter ink. What you ended up with was like this rubbery egg membrane, like Callie has made a few different times, but under a black light, it glowed very intensely. And they wanted to see if it was real or if it was something that people had faked, We've seen several videos of people faking things with eggs, like if you soak it in Sprite, and the Skittle, it turns completely clear. With like a red yolk. Eggs are a wonderful analog if you're trying to test out a bunch of different things, but this one's interesting to me because it has us both taking away the shell itself, but also it's absorbing the ink into the membrane. I don't even know if that's possible, but we want to find out. Here's the basic idea. We had several people send us a clip of some eggs that had been soaked in vinegar and highlighter ink, which appeared to glow in ultraviolet light. We're going to try and replicate that effect, as well as come up with a few different methods to try making dark light glowing eggs. So as you can see here, we've got some white vinegar, we've got lots of Sharpies, and we've got some eggs. Uh, but that's not the only thing we're gonna be testing out. We wanted to do a few different things. For one thing, we have a couple colors of Sharpies. We've got yellow and pink. So we'll test out both of those. And then we also have some vitamin B2 tablets, which you've seen us use before as another thing that glows under a black light. In fact, these tablets even glow somewhat under a black light. So if we crush these up and soak them in hot water, we'll end up with a liquid that glows really nicely under a black light as well. And we're going to try soaking the eggs with that, as well as taking some of that liquid and injecting it right into the shells of the eggs and then hard boiling them maybe scrambling them, maybe an omelet, we'll see. It depends on how far we get with our eggs before we decide we're just sitting around and making too much of a mess. But we have a dozen eggs, we wanna try this out, we want to see what happens to them with both our ink and our vitamin B2. All right, so what we need to do is soak our eggs in vinegar for about 24 hours. You have done this a few times, and the effect is cool whether it glows or not. The outside of the shell dissipates, the membrane inside stays there, and I think becomes a little more rigid. So when the calcium carbonate is completely dissolved, yeah, you're just left with that membrane, and it's not necessarily stronger or more rigid, it's just the fact that that's all that's holding it together, and you're not used to seeing that, so it creates the effect that we call the rubber egg. So then it's just the membrane, the egg yolk, and the egg white, and the calcium carbonate on the outside is completely dissolved away. It's a really cool effect. I don't know if it's gonna absorb anything. Let's find out. At least one egg with just vinegar. Yep. No highlighter, no B2 vitamin. That's just to see if the membrane without a shell is going to give us any glow. And then we want an egg and vinegar with yellow highlighter, an egg and vinegar with pink highlighter, and an egg and vinegar with some B2 vitamin extract. The reason we have two of each container is really just because I don't want the two eggs like pushing up against each other after the membrane's destroyed or you know, the shell of one puncturing the membrane of the other before it dissolves, you know, it's just to keep them separated and so we have more to experiment with. Now we're going to just let these sit for about 24 hours, hopefully the shells completely dissolve and then we'll see if we have glowing membranes. But until then, 
we have a couple more experiments we can try. Now in the past what we have tried to do is we have tried to take straight food ink and inject it into the shells of these eggs. Well today we're going to try that with B2. So kind of the same idea. So we just puncture right through the shell and then we're going to fill some syringes with the B2 and inject it into the egg itself. And then we'll try and sort of stir it around to give us a little bit more even distribution. So these three are slightly broken shell. The one I've just shaken and the one that Nate's just shaken are going into the hot water. We're gonna boil these for a few minutes, see if it works. All right, now while those are boiling, we have two more eggs. The one I put in the cup, I just injected some B2 vitamin water into it. And we're gonna try frying that. And then this other one we can crack open and let's just mix it with some B2 scrambled vitamin eggs. water. Go for scrambled egg. Um, I did inject into the yolk as well here, okay. so I don't know that this is gonna stay together all that well as a fried egg. So I've injected some B2 vitamin into several places on the egg. It doesn't stir and mix <laughs> very well. But we're gonna fry it up and see what the result is. I wonder if it'll keep going. Yeah, my, my yolk was punctured too much. So, oh no. well, this is about to become a scrambled egg. Oh. That was like a flip and a half, unfortunately. So, all right, I'm not the best egg chef in the world. Yeah, I put enough in here that I don't think these are going to taste great, but look at the edges. <laughs> that is got some good glow to it. It's very true. As it cooks, the glow is coming out more. I think the I was it's worried it was going to kill it. Yeah. Look at how dark they are in comparison oh to my. normal eggs. Well, even this has some B2 in it. You, how much did you put in there? Listen. That, that looks like pumpkin. I put a lot, okay. All right, so the two tests, do they glow and do they taste good? This is definitely odd. Yep. Eggs aren't supposed to glow, guys. You're not supposed to eat radioactive eggs. Now, okay, so that one's absolutely fluorescing. Lovely. <laughs> okay. <laughs> mm, mm. Oh. <laughs> two things. One, the bitter taste of the B2, very strong. Holy cow. Two, I may have misjudged the salt quantity. By about a factor of 10. <laughs> Let's try these ones. Hold the on. salt hit me first and then the bitter. Yeah. I mean, that's not bad. Anything's better maybe, than what we just maybe tasted. Maybe there is some bitter flavor to these eggs, but I can't taste it because there's still so much bitter flavor left in my mouth from, <laughs> from the, the other eggs. In person, you can see the irregularity. Getting us on camera is tough. Wow. Yeah. Down in here, in this crevice, you can kind of see like the part where it's glowing more compared to up here. This part is darker. Yeah, you can, there you go. Yeah, it's that like part in little there, pockets of glow. Like really look at glowing. This tiny piece I just got, just the edges of it glow. You see that? Yep, got spots that yeah. glow. Don't make up the way you did. Which is three tablespoons of B2 and probably a tablespoon of salt, because I really messed that was up. was one guys. egg. <laughs> I was really trying to cover up the bitter and I failed horribly. We've got some interesting things happening. Um, the Glorious. eggs leaked in some odd ways. We've got some glow spots looking super accurate on camera for once. That is bizarre, guys. We have a glowing egg. Check out all of my little pockmark spots. They all glow. So again, another glowing. You can, in fact, make glowing hard-boiled eggs. Not just the shell, guys. That's, that's the edible part of the egg. That's the egg white. Very curious to see how Nate's turns out. A couple of spots. You know, let's look on the inside and see if it's more uniform or if we still have just those concentrated points. Check that out. You can absolutely see the spots where it got injected. So parts of this egg are going. The egg yolk, I did puncture mine as well, and I shook it, so it wasn't a perfect scramble. But it definitely got shook around, and you can absolutely see how far the glow most, travels. The most uneven yolk I've ever seen. Oh, you've got like a little stripe in there. That's it, though. That's, there's very little other than that little stripe right there. I'm going to try yours first, because I'm less scared, because it looks like there's a little bit less B2 in it. Is there a bitter note coming out? Not even a little bit. Okay. Tastes like a hard boiled egg. Let's try mine with that has more color in it. It's just a hard boiled egg. And you it can glows. Make, yeah, you can make delicious, glowing hard boiled eggs. Holy cow. This does not look like something I should be eating. You see that? So that method of glowing eggs, check. Absolutely. Uh, gently scrambled with a little bit of glow check aggressively scrambled with massive amounts of b2 
They are super bitter and salty. They don't even glow as much. I feel like when you mix the yolk with the white, it's just not gonna glow as much anyways. So absolutely, if you guys wanna try and make hard boiled eggs with B2, you absolutely can, they're gonna glow. And tomorrow we are going to find out if we can make the membrane glow as well. All right, it's been 48 hours now. Yeah, we let these go an extra day because the shells, some of them didn't feel quite dissolved all the way and we wanted to make sure we really got the rubber shell effect. So here they are. <laughs> and now we're just gonna take all the eggs out because it's not testing whether or not we can make glowing liquid, it's whether or not we can make glowing eggs. It's a different color. These were both in vinegar and highlighter ink, but there is something swirling under the surface of that membrane. So this is a regular egg. It's interesting, it does seem like it's glowing just a little bit. B2 vitamin. It's very bitter, but it has some glow to it. Okay. So under a black light, it's not the neon colored glow of highlighter, but it's putting off a little bit of fluorescence. Mostly I think it's just turning you can yellow. You that though. line right there of color difference. All right, so the B2 do fluoresce a small amount. I'm curious about the pink ones now. Oh, there yeah. we go. Yeah, it's not extreme, but it's there. It is a glowing egg. It's sort of an orangey glow. All right, these are our yellow highlighter ink. So this is the one that has like the weird swirls going on, but. Holy cow. That is a very, very glowy egg. You could read by this. I'm gonna take one of each of these colored eggs and I'm gonna put them in boiling water and see what happens. I don't think we've ever even tried to cook nope. a shell-less egg. It might just pop when it hits the hot water, but we'll see if we can get a cooked egg without a shell. I'm gonna crack all of these open and see if any of the egg yolk or egg white are also glowing. I don't think so, but I wanna find out. So our vitamin B2 egg, our pink highlighter egg, and our yellow highlighter egg. That looks bizarre. Okay, well, right off the bat. That is just bleeding off, violently glowing color. We dried all of these off. We rinsed them and dried them. So it was absolutely absorbing that color. There's really no way to crack it anymore. I'm gonna tear it. Ah! Here we go. So this is the membrane. Regular egg. No uh, fluorescing, really. Not so much. All right, B2 egg. Um, A little. Way more than the normal Yeah, egg. look at the skin too. So the skin, you can see that sort of reddish or pink egg. <laughs> definitely kept the color and you can definitely see a difference. There's, yeah, it's not super strong, but there's something there. It does look like a different kind of egg. All right, and then last, one that Nate, Woof! Holy Nate! cow. <laughs> I was looking over at the <laughs> stove and just suddenly this bright light <laughs> lit up in the corner of my eye. <laughs> Holy cow. That is glowing egg yolk and egg white. Like, yes, the skin's glowing, but it absolutely sank into this egg. Okay. Yeah, there's some oh, white it weird like slime made it stuff on that. Rancid? And like... Look at that. Well, okay, so this is the inner part of the egg. Yeah, what I was talking about, like how yeah. there's, there's like a separation. There's white sticking to the yolk. Hold this. This is nope. the strangest thing that's ever happened. Oh, oh, it came off. Oh, gross. What? Is the egg yolk also glowing? All right, go for it. Oh no, Tip what? of the knife just grazed, just barely. It looks like an alien, what have we done? It looks like a poached egg. What? Okay, well, That's inside. a glowing pink egg. That texture is just like fluff. Ah, no. All right, let's look at the B2 one. I'm gonna see if it pops the same way the other one did. Oh. <laughs> Hold itself what? open. So this one though, you can see there's the membrane and that's all that picked up the highlighter ink. Inside, we've got this squishy layer. It's so soft from all the vinegar. So this one has absorbed the yellow from the B2. It's nowhere near as intense as the membrane that came off of it. Creamy, Okay, looks kind of white. Texture. Yeah, white out here. I don't know why creamy is the word you're going with. It feels just soggy to me. It's, okay, this part is ultra hard, like you were saying. Yeah, I think we just overcooked this part, and so it's a too cooked hard boiled egg. But then the stuff that had absorbed the vinegar, it just doesn't solidify the mm -hmm. same way. The very inside of the yolk doesn't really have it, but it does look like it made it part of the way in. You can make glowing eggs, guys. Definitely. Do not eat, eat them, them, but you can do it. You can make radioactive looking eggs. That's... So this is an idea that came to us from the internet. People mm -hmm. sent it to us because they had seen other things like Instagram posts talking about it. They wanted to know if it was real. Some egg things, like we said, have been faked. This one, I believe, is completely genuine. Put the egg in with vinegar, highlighter ink, let it sit till the shell dissolves, and you are going to end up with a squishy, gummy egg. 
Thanks again to the sponsor for today's video, Dragon City. To download the game and show your support for the channel, head down to the description and click the link. Today's video, <laughs> sponsored by Dragon City. Today's video is sponsored by Dragon City. Today's video is sponsored by Dragon City. Today's video, sponsored by Dragon City. Today's video, oh no, I can hit that note right now. <laughs> today's video, sponsored by Dragon City. Not today, Satan. <laughs> oh. Tomorrow's video is sponsored by Dragon City. Chicken eggs. <laughs> it exploded after slipping out of my hand. Guys, that's not all. You know we've always got more for you to see. If you want to see our most recent video, hit that box up at the top, and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.